tamu yang cukup ha, istimewa di studio Carlos Alberto Martinez de Murga Olivar atau lebih dikenali sebagai Kali de Murga kapten pasukan Terengganu FC. Hola Kali, how are you? Kamu setaka? Ayo Slan, thank you, thank you for having me here. Alright, ah. kamu setaka tu apa khabar? Ia lah dalam Filipina kan? sebab Kali mewakili Betul. Filipina. Kali, uh, you just got back from your national duty with uh, the Philippines. You're serving your quarantine. Where where are you serving your quarantine? And how many days have you been in quarantine? I'm staying in uh, in Piana Hotel. It's my second day, and I feel like I've been here like a month. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> and it's only my second day. So, what is the activity all about? Like in, in your room? Like, do you do any workouts? Do you have like some training session with uh, TFC sending you some things to do? I I I, I come from an injury that I got injured mm, last uh, uh -huh. second game of the tournament, mm -hmm. and I try to do my rehab and my own exercise. So I cannot train yet as as much as I want, but hopefully right. in a few days I feel better and I can do my my full exercise. All right, all right. Mm. Okay. Uh, I mean, Carly, how I mean, uh, I, how fris frustrated are you uh, while uh, getting injured while uh, being on duty with the Philippines? It's always it's always sad to get injured and especially in the, in the important games, you know. So mm. I try to 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 stay focused and don't get too frustrated because uh, there's nothing else that I can do. I just mm -hmm. try to recover myself and and that's all. All right, Kali, want to ask a bit, a bit more personal question, maybe about you. You were born in Cadiz, in Spain, is it? Is it right, right? In yeah, Spain, yeah. right? And is it right? can can you tell us a bit more about about that, like your your humble beginnings? Uh, when do you start playing football? Those kind of infos. Well, well, I I was born in a in a small province, all the way down south in in Spain. Yes. It's not a, a big city, so I have a, to be fair, I have a great uh, childhood, you know. I can uh, enjoy playing in the streets uh, as much as I want. Maybe in a bigger city in Spain, you cannot do it because uh, it's uh, quite uh, dangerous, you know. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it was a good place and I had an older brother. So he used to play football and as uh, all the kids who follow his uh, older brother, mm -hmm. I joined him uh, and that's when I fall in love with, uh, with the sport. Mm. Uh -huh. I mean, Kali, that's an interesting story. That's but right. Eventually, how did you manage to represent the Philippines? My mom, she's Filipina, so mm. ah, okay. I, the federation contacted me around 2011. So they want to see me playing. They, they send me ticket. I play a tournament, and, and since that since that I'm still uh, playing with the national team. Uh, do you like fly often to to Filipina before before you join the team, like with your mom? Not really, because actually my family, the my Filipino family, they all live in Canada and and, ah, and okay. US. So okay. I used to fly. I used to fly. There. Actually, it's a funny thing. Right now, there's only two Filipinos in my family. It's me and my brother. The <laughs> rest, no one in papers. No one is Filipino. You know, not even my mom. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's very interesting. Okay. I mean, Kali, now you have a lot of time uh, on your hand. Uh, I'm sure that you're, you're following the Euros at the moment. So naturally, do you support Spain? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Uh, do you think the, the uh, Spain is going to go far in the tournament this time around? Well, I support my team even though mm, mm, I don't have big hopes to be fair <laughs> this year. I think the squad is it's not it's not as strong as before. You know. Okay, let's talk a bit about uh, their match tonight mm. against Poland. Uh, they are facing Robert Lewandowski. What do you think, think of that match? I think if you control, if you are able to control this uh, piece, uh, half of the way is done. You know, but uh, in football, there's no easy game. So let's see, let's see. But to be fair, I hope this one we should win. As the last game we draw, we we must get the three points if we want to go through. Mm, uh, you, you said that uh, you're very optimistic about uh, Spain's chances, but if I were to push you, to put you on the spot, where do you think this, uh, that uh, Spain will end up in the Euros this time? Semi-final? Quarter-final? Final? No, we, we, <laughs> we, we, we have a big tradition going out in the quarter-finals. <laughs> <laughs> Carly, is there any favourite player from the current team, mm. of the Spanish team? No, not this year. Right now, my favorite member in the, in the national team is the assistant coach, who was my head coach before for three years. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I mean, uh, how, how, I mean, uh, how does that relationship started? If you can share uh, share that with us, with with uh, me and and, uh, and the assistant coach. Yes. Yeah. 
Well, everything started long time ago when I was playing in the youth. I think I was under 14 or under 15. He was doing the scouting of uh, Cadiz uh, Football Club and he was the one who signed me, you know. And as he was the one who signed me, I, I played the first year for him. And then I pre we, we both keep uh, growing, you know, inside the club. So I was able to play under him like three years. So we still have a very, very tight uh, relation. You still keep in touch with him as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish him uh, earlier a good luck for Tunisia. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, Jesus Casas or who, who's the... Exactly, Jesus Casas. He's from my province. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Oh, that's an interesting story. Okay. Kalau yeah. kita tak panggil kali, kita tak tahu benda-benda macam ni. We didn't know. But uh, Kali, uh, going back to your current team, Tengganu FC, uh, let's uh, jog a bit of memory. Uh, is it true that your first goal in the Malaysian Super League, you scored uh, the header against Selangor? Yeah, exactly. You yes. know, you made me cry, you Kali, because Selangor FC is my, uh, my team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> but it was a beautiful goal. I mean, after this, uh, you're linking up with uh, back with Tengganu, but the FC Cup is still in limbo. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm still uh, excited of what what is going to happen. As uh, right now, no, no, nobody know what is going on. And AFC Cup is a is a beautiful tournament. Is a, mm. even if we are Terengganu, once you go out and play internationally, you not only represent Terengganu, you know, you represent the whole Malaysia. So I hope we can make proud everyone here. All right, Kali, you are one of uh, three Filipinos playing in in Malaysian league, yeah. Uh, other than Manuel Ott and Kevin Ray Mendoza being the other two, what is uh, about Malaysian football that attracted you to this league? <coughs> I played AFC Cup before and, and I faced and I faced a couple of uh, Malaysian clubs and it was always a very, very hard and competitive game. And a couple of players they played here before, like my teammate uh, Alvaro Silva and Angel Girado, and they used to tell me so many good things about Malaysian League and, and how passionate is the people. Mm -hmm. So I think here I was able to play in the Philippines and, and in Thailand and to be fair, I think the people here is even more passionate than 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 those countries where I where I was able to play. Uh, we're hoping that COVID uh, <laughs> goes away and then the fans of Terengganu can come down to the stadium and see you play, Captain. That's the main thing. Yep. Inshallah. Do, do, don't play too well against Lango and Sabah. Yes. <laughs> Any other teams? <laughs> <Too> okay. <fancy. laughs> okay. Okay, Kali, okay. thank you. Okay, but but don't tell my coach. <laughs> Okay, Kali, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate okay. it. Have a good rest in quarantine. Train well. And of course, we like to see you back in action full force with Tunggano FC. Thank you guys for having me here. It's a pleasure.